Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. So, I am back in Lily Cove City, and I think it's about time we finally checked out what's going on in that cave in the cove, and what Team Aqua are doing there. But first, just a little um, bit I want to mention. I did a few minor things uh, before I started this recording, uh, because as you know, in the last episode, uh, we checked out the Safari Zone and caught a bunch of decent Pokemon, and as you can see, I bought one in particular with me to the team. Yes, I decided to bring the shiny Oddish that I found at the Safari Zone, <laughs> because, come on, it's a shiny Pokemon. I can't say no to bringing a shiny Pokemon with me. So, um, yep, I wasn't planning on bringing Oddish with me as my grass Pokemon. I was going to bring back Breloom, but... In this instance, I am willing to make an exception. So, um, I'm bringing Oddish with me. I've given it the experience share because I don't really need to uh, help level up the likes of Absol and Sableye right now. And even if I need to do some extra training before our next gym battle, I'll just do that off camera anyway. But uh, I think I'll give the experience share to Oddish. And I'll just go from there. And to be honest, I'm actually kind of tempted to bring another one of the Pokemon that I've caught at the Safari Zone with me. Uh, probably once we're done with the 7th gym, so I'm probably going to leave behind... I don't know, I was going to say leave behind Absol, but I kind of... But yeah, I might end up leaving behind Absol, because I'm pretty much only using Absol for this upcoming gym battle. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe bringing the Heracross with me? I don't know. Um, but then again, I'm decided yet, but one thing's for sure, I was definitely going to bring Oddish with me anyway, so <laughs> no chance I was going to leave it behind. Anyway, um, actually, you know what, I'll stick with Absol, because I might as well train you up a little bit while we're going to check out what's going on with Team Aqua, because something is going on with these guys, and I think it's about time we got to the bottom of it. So yeah, we got uh, a bunch of Whalmer blocking the way, so we can't get to the next town, so that means we have to check out this cave, which apparently was supposed to be a natural cave, but then Team Aqua did some quote-unquote renovations to it. Let's see what on earth they've done to this place. The Aqua Hideout. Ooh. Oh, um, hello. What? What? Are you a Team Magma, Grunt? I hear that Team Magma is trying to awaken an, an, uh, awaken an awesome Pokemon at their hideout. But where might their hideout be? Uh, right. I hear that Team Magma is after an awesome Pokemon at Mount Chimney. Okay, interesting. So I can't get in there, but now they're talking about... Team Magma? At Mount Chimney? Okay, so that, does that mean I have to go all the way to Mount Chimney? Oh, I just put Swellow in the storage uh, box. That means I'm going to have to bring it back at the expense of one of my Pokemon. Ah, you know what? I'll just leave... I don't know. I'll probably just leave Sableye in storage. While I bring... Uh, um, Swellow with me. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> No, that's not what I wanted. Um, sorry, Sableye. Uh, I'm just going to leave you in the storage for a little bit. Because it seems to be implying that we're now supposed to be going to uh, check out Mount Chimney. And I think the easiest thing for me to do is to head to Lava Ridge Town. Luckily, before I started recording this session, I did also go back to Moorville. And I swapped my bike around for the Acro bike because I had a feeling that uh, the Acro bike would be probably more uh, useful anyway in most situations because the Mac bike seems to be only use useful for uh, just getting up like very steep slopes. Oh, this boulder is shaking in response to the magma emblem. Ah, that's right. That's right. There was a Team Magma grunt that was hanging out here, wasn't there? Uh, after they, after we cleared out uh, Mount Chimney. Ah, yes, of course. 
Ah. I need strength, don't I? Oh, this game. Oh, this game. I don't have a Pokemon that knows strength with me. The only Pokemon that knows strength, it would be, uh... Hariyama. Oh, this game is so annoying sometimes, isn't it? Right, okay. Back to, uh, the Pokemon Center. Okay, now that we've got Hariyama, let's actually, uh, see if we can get through this place. Also, wild Pokemon appear around here. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of surprised I've not yet caught Torkoal, so... Yeah, maybe we'll give it a go. That was a critical hit. Fair enough. Uh, actually, I might be able to get away with using a... Quick attack. Never mind. Absol's just a critical hit machine right now. But hey, on the plus side, at least you grew to level 38, so that's nice. Of course, Oddish has the experience share. To be honest, am I really interested in trying to catch Pokemon here? Honestly, I'm not. So let me just use a Super Repel for now. Welcome back to the team, Hariyama. I wasn't expecting to uh, do something like that, but never mind, you know, having to use strength and all that. Ah, uh, he has a whole bunch of magma grunts, or just the one there, I suppose. Uh, actually, maybe I should use Swampert, because they're probably going to try and use some fire-type Pokemon, aren't they? Uh, maybe not necessarily, but might as well. Okay, so never mind uh, checking out the Team Aqua base, we're checking out this new base instead. Our leader told us to dig into Mount Chimney, so we dug and dug, and in the course of digging, we came across something that blew our minds. What did we find? I'll tell you if you beat me. Well, that should be no problem. Ah, uh, it's just a Puchiena. Actually, think about it, I could always use Hariyama. <laughs> I brought Hariyama back, I might as well uh, make the most of it and actually uh, use Hariyama in battle against these dark type Pokemon. Um, yeah, that was way too easy. So go on, what's this big secret thing? I won't tell you after all. You'll find out when you get there. It'd be better if you saved surprises to the ends, don't you think? I suppose so, but at the same time I wanted to know now. Ooh, okay, we've got two different ways here. Oh, never mind, that's uh, a one-way thing anyway. So how do we get to that little, like, cliff bit at the back where we saw... Unless there was another way. Hang on a minute, let me just... Let me just go back because there wasn't a, a sneaky way around, was there? Oh, there is. Okay, there is a... There is a... Like another, like, tunnel there. You know, seeing as you're just wasting inventory space, I'm just going to use the Max Repel. Okay, so as long as I didn't miss anything obvious, that's fine. Let's just keep on going. No response. Hold it right there. You don't really expect me to keep my trap shut and let you waltz by me. Although, you're going to wish that you did leave me alone. Haha, <laughs> you're going to make a big mistake, Team Magma Grunt. Ah, yes, okay, at least you're using a Fire-type Pokemon, so um, that is absolutely no problem at all for Swampert. There we go, just flood our battleground with a nice Surf attack. Ooh, wow, I concede, yeah. Bet you regret battling me now, don't you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. And yes, I saw you. So I'm not I'm not gonna leave I'm gonna leave no prisoners. I am literally gonna battle everyone. What what what? Only Team Magma members are supposed to be in here. Well you're not just in Team Magma's uniform. You've roused my suspicion. Battle with me. Well, I mean you are right, I am not Team Magma, so I suppose you are only doing your job. Ooh, you have a mighty Yenna. Okay, fair enough. And yep, of course, Intimidate. 
kicks in, but I'm not worried about that. Ah, I am worried about that though, using Swagger. Come on, Swampert. Of course, I, of course you hit yourself. Because the game clearly favours the computer. Yep, here we go. The game clearly favours the computer opponents more than me. Oh, really? You had to bring out my shiny Oddish? Oddish is not cut out for this. be hilarious, though, but no, I'm not going to take a risk. Although, you kind of wasted your swagger move there. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it got me twice, but still. Right, if you're going to be like that, uh, let's use an arm thrust. Oh, okay, the game was actually being kind enough to actually hit at least three times, so I knock out my team. Yeah, no, I was worried that the game might have tried to be cheeky and, um, you know, only hit the opponent twice, so Mighty Anna had another chance to attack. Ay, 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 my pride as a Team Magma member. If you suffer from chills, you should join Team Magma. Uh, okay, then, fair enough. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, an intruder. I mean, it's funny you should say that, but I've already gone through, what, three Magma members already? So... What makes you think you're going to stop me, especially as you have a ball toy? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oh dear, Anna Nomo. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, you are not having a good time, I'm afraid, Team Magma. <laughs> or as the game just says, mutter. <laughs> Actually, I'm no expert at battling. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. Although, having said that, at least you had two Pokemon. So, at least you did a little better than some of the previous Magma members I've just battled. Okay, I'm getting a sense of deja vu here. Please don't tell me your next Pokemon after this Boltoy is also going to be a no melt. <laughs> Oh, this is just, just way too easy for Swampert. Oh, Zubat. Okay. Well, in that case then, let's bring out a main trick for once. There we go. Ooh, Oddish grew to level 28. Actually, is that enough for... It is. It is enough to evolve Oddish already. Well, goodbye, shiny Oddish. I actually can't remember what shiny Gloom looks like. It looks like that. Just looks slightly uh, lighter. I've already lost. Do I really need to keep running around in a circle? Well, I mean, what you want to do is up to you. I can't tell you what to do. Uh, ooh, okay, we've got a cave that way and a cave that way. Ooh, which way to go? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, is this a double battle? I don't have a pwn to pick with you. I'm just following orders. Ah, oh, double battle. I can't stand heat. Maybe I should have joined Team Aqua instead. Or maybe, better yet, don't, just don't bother at all. Rather live like a life of crime. And you know, just... Just, you know, try to be a decent Pokemon trainer or anything. 
Okay, so yeah, Intimidate's gonna affect both Absol and Swampert. That's fine, we'll just use Surf. Hoping the Surf will be enough to knock out... Uh, Numel. So Mighty Hand decided to go and target Absol, which is absolutely fine. Which allows Swampert to freely attack the two Pokemon. Nice, easy knockout. Is this Surf going to be enough to knock out Mighty Ender as well? It is! Oh, you gotta love a two-in-one knockout. You gotta love a two-in-one knockout. Beautiful. I may have lost, but... You still lost. <laughs> there's no, there really is no positive, is there? Yeah, I really may not be right for Team Magma. Don't you get lonely for the sea being in a place like this? We dug up something beyond belief, and we got the blue orb. All that's left is for our leader to... Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so you're just blocking an item. A full restore. Interesting. Is that the first full restore that we found? I think it is. Okay, another item over there. You can hear tremors here sometimes. Could it be the volcano rattling? Or is it growl? Whoops, no, no, never mind. Oh, you almost spilled the beans there. I mean, let's be honest, I think we all know what uh, he's talking about, but let's just play dumb for now. <laughs> anyway, just another Zubat. Very easy for uh, Swampert. Yep, no problem at all. You're a fiery battler, just like a volcano. Except my Swampert is here to douse the flames. You just happen to win this time, but that doesn't matter. Team Magma's goal is about to be reached. Oh, is that so? One of our guys was freaking out that he lost his Magma emblem. Wait a minute, was it you who found it? Well, I don't know. Why don't you battle me and we'll find out? Oh, dear. Now we're just battling against, I'd say, the very low-ranking Magma Grunts here. Actually, I should just save Surf and just use, like, Mud... Uh, what was it? Mud Shot or something instead. Oh, wow. Swampert's showing no mercy with the Surf there by going all out with the crit. <laughs> I'm having trouble believing this. Ah, uh, you better believe it, buddy. I'm getting this feeling that our plan is going to end in failure. I'll tell you one thing. Ooh, a Max Elixir. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. You are good at predicting stuff, so... Um, can you predict when I might potentially encounter another shiny Pokemon, if at all, in this Let's Play? That'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, where does this go? Ah, does this go round? Yes, it does. Right, okay, good. So, at least we can go all the way around here. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to stop using these super repels, but I should have enough to last me. We just got one. Very lonely, far-out grunt there. But there is an item at the end of this path, so this better be worth it. When Team Magma has roll call, we get important guarding assignments in the order that we line up. <laughs> That's why I'm stuck off in this corner. I'm always late to roll call. Oh dear. Well, I suppose on the plus side, because you've lit you're literally, like, above the path, it it's very unlikely that you'll encounter anyone, like, to actually try and stop. Unfortunately for you, Today is the day that I decided to turn up and just, you know, just absolutely dominate against these Team Magma Grunts. I'm always late for training sessions too. I hate to say it, but I'm wimpy. <laughs> You're also very bad at timekeeping, aren't you? Okay, I'll try and put a little more effort into things from now on. I mean, that's that's good and all, but... Ooh, piece of rare candy. Uh, right, but, um, yeah, why don't you go on better and just, just, just quit being a member of Team Magma. Just quit being like a criminal 
and just try and, you know, redeem yourself a little bit by actually being, being a good guy, trying to be a decent Pokemon trainer, and who knows where life would take you.